For nearly three years, Russia's Shahed drones have haunted Ukrainian skies, striking military and civilian targets alike. But that may be coming to an end. Today, Ukrainians deployed their latest breakthrough, a powerful new laser weapon capable of blinding, burning and even bringing down Russian drones and missiles mid-flight. Euromaidan press says Shahed's have been used as the leading Russian strike drones for almost three years so far, and they have been used to target critical Ukrainian military and economic infrastructure, including defense, industrial complexes and the Ukrainian power grid. Ukrainian Air Force figures show that since June 2024, there has been a month-on-month -month increase in drone attacks with over 4,000 launched in March. The rapidly increasing production numbers and the number of drones launched are leading Ukrainians to develop new methods of countering them effectively. Originally, a large portion of the Ukrainian defense against Shahed drones comprised mobile air defense units that utilized surplus machine guns and auto cannons mounted on pickup trucks. Operated by civilian volunteers and specialized military units, they shoot down large numbers of slow-flying Shahed drones each night. Ukrainians even implemented river patrols, utilizing the same weapons and tactics on the Dnipro River to protect major Ukrainian cities along the riverbank, Euromaidan Press reports. Ukrainians are also developing more advanced systems, such as new interceptor drones made to catch up to the Shaheds and take them down with a shotgun-like explosive. However, the peak of Ukrainian development of air defense technologies is the new high-tech air defense system. Trizub or Trident the laser system can destroy FPV drones, aerial bombs, crews and ballistic missiles at a distance of 3 kilometers. Ukrainians also note that Shaheds, helicopters, fighters and even strategic bombers can be damaged or destroyed at a distance of up to 5 kilometers. Laser systems are capable of optical blinding to suppress drones, cruise missiles, helicopters and other aircraft at a distance of up to 10 kilometers, disrupting the targeting systems of missiles and drones while also blinding the eyesight of manned aircraft pilots. Colonel Vadim Sukharevsky, the Ukrainian Unmanned Systems Forces commander, stated that the laser can effectively shoot down drones and ensure the defense of strategic facilities and civilian residential areas, Euromaidan Press says. However, the most critical information, such as the power range and the configuration of the laser beam, is classified and guarded from the public, indicating its performance may be higher than reported. The possibility of integrating automatic or AI targeting systems like Ukrainians have done in other weapon systems would only further increase its effectiveness as it already stands to change the field of modern air defenses. It is unknown when the Trizub will enter full service. However, it will undoubtedly increase Ukraine's ability to keep its skies secure. U.S. Vice President J.D. Vance arrived in India on Monday for a four-day visit as New Delhi looks to avoid U.S. tariffs and negotiate a bilateral trade deal with Washington. According to Associated Press Vance will meet Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the first day of his largely personal visit. The two leaders are expected to hold discussions on bilateral ties outlined in February when Modi met President Donald Trump in Washington. The U.S. is India's largest trading partner and the two countries are now holding negotiations aiming to seal a bilateral trade agreement this year. They have set an ambitious target of more than doubling their bilateral trade to $500 billion by 2030. If achieved, the trade deal could significantly enhance economic ties between the two countries and potentially strengthen diplomatic ties as well. Vance's first visit to New Delhi comes amid the backdrop of Trump's now paused tariff program against most countries, including India. It also coincides with a rapidly intensifying trade war between Washington and Beijing, which is New Delhi's main rival in the region. Vance is accompanied by his wife, Usha Vance, whose parents are from India, along with their children and officials from the U.S. administration. 
the couple will visit historical sites in the cities of Jaipur and Agra. Modi was among the first leaders to visit the US and hold talks with Trump after he returned to the White House. During his visit, Modi hailed a mega-partnership with the US and kick-started a negotiation process to minimize the possible fallout of Trump's tariffs. The two leaders also said they planned to grow their defense partnership, with India signaling compliance with the Trump administration's demands, saying it will purchase more oil, energy and defense equipment from the US regardless, Trump targeted India with a 26% levy, which has since been paused. However, he has continued to call India a tariff abuser and tariff king.